The arguments set for tomorrow in the trial of Gonzalo Garibay. He's accused of murdering his wife last year and hiding her body in Ojai. Tonight, Twitter ABC Scott Sheehan joins us live from downtown Bakersfield with the very latest details on this case. Scott. Jackie, Gonzalo Garibay spent the day on the stand being cross-examined by the prosecution. It was very manufacturally back and forth between the two until they got to the part where he said he killed his wife. That's when it got emotional. Was she begging for you to stop? No. When you wrapped your hands around her neck, was she screaming? No. Was she yelling? No. Did she look at you with fear? No. During that exchange, which described the moments Gonzalo Garibay said he killed his wife, Rosa Garibay, their son, Jason Garibay, who was in the courtroom, kept his eyes shut and his head down. Next to Jason, Rosa's sisters cried. One even had to leave the courtroom during the description of the fatal fight. The prosecution also questioned Garibay on how threatening he was towards his wife before that fight. Did you say anything that would cause her to believe that if something happened to her that the police should be notified? Uh, no. Did you say anything um, to her that she should be concerned and, and telling her sister to, to notify the police if she, something happened? No, not at all. Leading up to the fight, the prosecution questioned the state of Garibay's marriage. She pointed out he was controlling by him tracking his wife on iCloud, not liking her being on social media or her devices and making new friends he thought were a bad influence. Garibay defended himself saying he was checking on her because he suspected her of cheating, questioned why she needed enhancement surgery if they were not intimate, and why her behavior changed, being more distant from the family. Based on the evidence in the court, the relationship hit a major turn before Gonzalo and Rosa Garibay went on a trip to Mexico at the end of 2014. Gonzalo says he arrived late and she stayed a couple months longer. Now, closing arguments are scheduled to start tomorrow on his way out of the courthouse. I talked with a defense attorney and he told me that he's hoping that the jurors don't come back with anything more than manslaughter. At the Superior Court of Kern County, Scott Sheehan, 23 ABC News.